Welcome back to Introduction to Computer Science at SSFS. In the last video, we extended the if statement by adding an else. So when we tested our condition, if it was true, the first statement was executed. If it was false, the else was executed. In this video, we're going to extend that even further to what might happen if you have three or more choices. So to show that, I'm going to go back to PyCharm, and I'm going to create a quick function called uh, what grade and it's going to take a grade and I can say if grade equals let's say 9 that must mean you are a freshman so print you are a freshman Well, if we just did an else, that would mean you're either a freshman or you're something else. But we know there are other grades in high school. So we need something in between the if and the else. And in Python, that's called an else if or an elif, E-L-I-F for short. So I can do elif grade equals 10, print. you are a sophomore. And I can put multiple elifs. So if I have more, I can say elif grade equals 11. I can then say print you are a junior. I'll do one more elif grade equals 12 print you are a senior now since there's a chance that someone might not put 9 10 or 11 or 12 I still want a default case so I'm still gonna put an else print you are not in high school so the way this works is when this function is called, it'll check to see if the grade is 9. If it is, it prints this. If it's not, it checks the next condition. If that's true, it'll print that. Otherwise, it checks the next condition. And the next condition, if none of these are true, then whatever is in the else gets executed. So in this case, if, the, if grade is not equal to 9, 10, 11, or 12, no matter what else the user puts, it'll say you are not in high school. Let's go ahead and set up a quick main function to run that. And we're going to get some input. So we'll say uh, grade equals input. What grade are you in? And then I will send the function what grade. And remember, I have to make it an int grade. So what this will do is it'll take whatever the, the user inputs and assign it to grade. It'll take the integer value of that and pass it on to this function. So finally, the last line of my program will be main. So I can go ahead and run that. And let's run this program. What grade are you in? I'll put 10. And it says, you're a sophomore. So the way the program worked is it checked to see, was 9 equal to 10? No, it's not. Is 10 equal to 10? Yes, it is. And it stops execution there. Let's try it one more time. What grade are you in? Let's say 75th grade. And it says, you are not in high school. Since none of these were true, the else is the one that gets executed by default. The last topic that we need to talk about in decisions are the occasions when you want to check two or more conditions at one time. And to do that, we'll use operators called AND and OR. And let's do OR first. So let's say, for example, you have a game and you want to check to see if a person plays again. So I can say, input, would you like to play again? 
and in fact let me save that to a variable replay and then I can say if replay equals yes I can print great let's play a game and then else print sorry to see you go so let's go ahead and see what that looks like we can kind of see that if the player puts in yes they'll play again if not they'll say goodbye so let's just check to make sure that works if I say yes it says great let's play a game well what happens if I put a capital Y let's try that would I like to play again I'll put in a capital Y I said sorry to see you go but I but I put in a Y and that's because Python sees a lowercase y and an uppercase y as two different characters. So really, I want to be able to play if I put in either one of those. So I'm going to change this condition statement to say if replay equals y or replay equals capital Y to, to say let's play a game. So let's go ahead and run that this time. Would I like to play again? I'll do a capital Y and it says great let's play a game when I use or it means either one of these has to be true if either one is true then the condition the first condition is executed if both of them are not true the else statement gets executed so that's how you use or um, let's look at another example um, and 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 is simply the case where both conditions have to be true. So if I had an adventure game and I said if action equals unlock door and has key equals true, we can print you have opened the door else print you cannot open the door at this time so we can kind of imagine a, an adventure game where someone tries to unlock the door so the the action they take is trying to unlock the door and if they've tried to unlock the door and they have the key so they has the key is true then they can open the door if either one of these is not true then they can't so for example if they tried to knock on the door if that was the action even if they have the key because both are not true the else still executes so again when using and both statements must be true for the first statement to be executed so those are the important topics in decisions you should be able to use if else is an else ifs as well as ands and ors in the next unit, we're going to take a look at for loops and while loops.